Hey, it's Ilza from Dust Time. In this video, I'll show you three ways how you can accurately track your meeting time with our automatic time tracking tool. The easiest way to track your meetings is to connect your Google or Outlook calendar with the Dust Time application. This will allow Dust Time to automatically read your calendar meetings as productive time. Connecting your calendar to Dust Time is pretty simple. Here's how you do it. Go to settings on your left hand menu. Choose the Integrations tab. Next, pick the calendar of your choice. I'll choose Google Calendar. When you click Activate, you'll have to log in your Google account. And there you have it. Now your meetings will automatically appear as productive time in your productivity bar. In the settings here, you can edit which calendars DeskTime can access. You can also select if you want DeskTime to track your meetings only during work hours. If your office doesn't use Google Calendar or Outlook, a great alternative solution is the DeskTime Web Timer. This feature is exactly what it sounds like, a timer on your DeskTime app that you can manually turn on when your meeting starts and turn off when it ends. This means that the Web Timer can be useful even if you have connected your calendar to DeskTime. For example, if you have an impromptu meeting that hasn't been added to your calendar, or when a meeting is running longer than expected, just start the timer and you won't lose a minute of productive time. To find the web timer, click on the desk time icon in your computer toolbar. For Windows users, this will be at the bottom of your screen here. For Apple and Linux users, you'll find the desk time icon at the top of your screen. Select show my desk time and you'll be taken to the my desk time page. You'll see this widget here, that's the web timer. When you click on it, you'll be able to add information about your meeting, describe what the meeting is about or what project it's related to. After that, press start and there you go. You're now tracking time with DeskTime's web timer. However, remember that this is a form of manual time tracking. Once your meeting is over, don't forget to stop the timer. This is very important because if you do forget, it'll just keep tracking the whole day. You can stop it by going to the My Desk Time section and pressing the red Stop button in the Web Timer box. The third way to track your meetings is to log them as offline time. For example, let's say your teammate calls you over for a quick chat about a specific project. As you chat, you realize there are a bunch of questions you need to discuss and the quick chat turns into a 45 minute meeting. Since this wasn't a scheduled meeting, desk time will track this as idle time, even though you were productive. So what can you do? If your company owner has enabled this feature, you can log these impromptu meetings as offline time. Here's how you do it. Once your meeting is over, go to your My Desk Time section, scroll down to your productivity bar and click on a portion of idle time. A pop-up will appear, allowing you to add offline time. Add in the meeting time, description, what project or task it was related to and select save. And voila, now your meeting will appear as productive time. So there you have it. Three ways how you can track your meetings with desk time. If you have any questions about tracking time with our tool, don't hesitate to ask in the comments below. All right, that's it from me. Bye.